Hey everybody, Ferb Jr. here. Uh, I am going to be learning Vivachi, or I'm going to be doing Vivachi, using the Vivachi app to learn music theory. I've gone all the way through the course. Now I'm just doing practice and reading the tutorial. Um, what I'm doing, I'm doing several music theory apps uh, simultaneously. I'm taking the courses concomitantly. Um, so like once I'm... Once I'm done with the treble portion of the clefs app, I'm going to restart the course and go through it um, step by step through all the lessons. And uh, so I hope you enjoy our journey together. Practice. I'm going to practice. I'll go to my notepad and say Vives. One hundred practice notes. Um, then tutorial, which I'll do after. Tutorial. And then we'll find out what section. I think I did staffs last time. Okay, practice, practice, go. That's a D. G, B, E, uh, C, 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 A, G, no F. E D C uh, E D C B A C G B, B F D C C A G B B C. Oops, there's my one mistake that I allow myself. Okay. Oh, too wrong. A, <laughs> C, G. Oh, struggle. A, C, C, G, F, D, D. G. 
i... A fun heck. Okay, that's the lowest score I've achieved so far. Ninety six percent, I think. Ninety six out of one hundred. 96% tutorial that was embarrassing I did much better yesterday let's do let's, I did I know I've done this recently but I, I can't go wrong with reading it again the clef is a symbol placed on the staff identity of a reference note displayed are the three clefs commonly used each one covers a specific range of notes the treble clef is used for high-pitched instruments the symbol wraps around the second line to identify our reference note g having identified the reference note we can easily determine the remaining notes in the staff by following the sequence the space above g is a the line above a is b and so on when going downward the on the staff, we follow the sequence backwards. Remember that we can keep adding notes indefinitely beyond the staff by adding ledger lines, which are difficult to read, which is why they change clefs. The bass clef is used for low-pitched instruments. The dots in the symbol identify the reference note, which is the F in the fourth line. The alto clef is used for mid-range instruments. The reference note is C in the line that passes through the middle of the symbol. This note is also known as the middle C, and it is a very important reference point in general. The tenor clef is basically an alto clef translated up one line in the staff. The middle C is now, now in the fourth line, and every other note also gets translated correspondingly. This translation is sometimes used with clefs to better accommodate an instrument's range. Yeah, so like a lot of the other clefs, like bass clef, and treble clef are unique, but the other clefs all look like this one. Or some, like, there's a lot of ones that look like this, like the, not the mezzo-soprano, but the tenor clef, and the, I guess, I don't know. This is, I can't remember, somebody once taught me, Dr. Jeremy Starr, who is a violin and viola teacher here in Salt Lake City, said that there's a special name for this kind of clef. But I can't remember what it is. Okay, for reference, here we show the relationship between all three clefs. The way notes are placed in the staff is universal, but the way you place notes depends entirely on your musical instrument. As an example, on the left, we see each line in space intersecting the corresponding white key on a piano keyboard. The highlighted key is middle C, suggested... Lessons 1 through 5 in Trainer. Okay, we've already done that. Just reading this because it's good information. Let's uh, review. Tutorial, we studied clefs. Okay, now let's go. We did the notes, and now we'll just acknowledge. I uh, want to say thank you for joining us for the recording or the live version, which it doesn't appear that there's anyone here, but that's okay. Because this is not exactly scintillating viewing. It's probably not even entertaining, but that's it's what I'm doing. So I appreciate anybody viewing the future recording. And I'll say hi in the chat. Hi. Hi. Oh, we put a little hand. Boom. Okay. Let's say thanks for being here one more time. Bye-bye.